Hey, look, Molly wants to say hi. Hey, the Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, in the bathroom, one of our favorite spots, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to change the, uh, the drain there for your bathtub, okay? All right, now the one I've chosen, they call a roller ball. So you kind of lift it up, so there's just a little spring-loaded ball in there that either locks it down or locks it up, okay? You know, if you spin this, it unscrews it, you know, there from the cross in the middle. And, um, and then there's a one that you can just, it's like spring loaded. You push down on one side and it locks. You push down the other side and it pops back up. Okay, so it's, we'll just whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. It should also have a little rubber gasket, which will go down here, but not, not between this and the tub. This actually goes between the tub and, and the drain. But I'll show you here. Let's just come on over here and do it. All right, I believe I got a pretty good angle here. And you can probably see that this one, the finish is pitted out really bad, okay? And I'm not, not only that, but I'm gonna show you here when I get it open. This one here has a little screw cap, and then we have to unscrew that shaft there. So each of these are just a little bit different, but they're all basically the same, that they got something that screws into a, a cross down there in, in the actual drain piece itself. This may be a little hairy underneath here, so don't be too afraid. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad, right? And then this rubber seal is just rotting. So we took this apart like two months ago and tried to clean it up. Actually, it did really good, but I knew it was just going to keep getting worse. Whether you use a big pair of needle nose pliers or one of those little plastic things with the, you know, all the barbs on it or a wire with, you know, you bent the end on it. Just clean this out a little bit here so we can kind of work with it. Okay, it's still pretty gross, but we're going to go ahead and continue. Now, this is where my warning comes in, okay? If you don't know what your pipes are made of in your house, you really need to check into this because in my experience, I've done this many times on older houses that didn't have PVC drains. If it's a PVC drain, you're probably fine to do this. Whether you're upstairs with a finished floor below you or you have a crawl space or whatever. Um, but if, it, if it's a metal drain, you know, kind of uh, almost like those old uh, vanity drains, which were kind of chromed metal, it's really thin metal. And a lot of times where that, the threads are, they rust out. So as soon as we start to unscrew this, we'll probably actually snap the end off that screws to the pipe that goes there if it was a metal one. So you're gonna have to have access underneath this tub if that's the case. Whether it's crawl space, open basement, some kind of big access panel over there, I'm just giving you a warning. Don't just randomly go at this and be like, oh, I think something broke. Okay, now the extra supplies that we're gonna need uh, to along this project are some plumber's putty. I always get the stain free because I use this also for kitchen sinks, for granite sinks and stuff, but the regular ones, this is fine, I think. When it comes to fiberglass, unless you have a special tub, then get the stain free. We've got a uh, tub basin wrench. Okay, I'll have Amazon links in the description down below for these items. And we are Amazon affiliates, so we get credit for using our link, so we appreciate it. Okay, and then you're going to need a wrench to turn this with, or you can also stick a screwdriver in one of these holes. But the wrench obviously gives us more leverage and more control of it, so I like the wrench. So there are two different sizes of these things. And I'm assuming that this very standard replacement will work on this very standard tub. Uh, but there are some that actually have a sleeve on them, you know, so it's two different sizes. I didn't get that one at my local Lowe's. All right, so we're just going to lock this down here and unscrew it. Something's really tight on this one. So I don't know if they use silicone here instead of plumber's putty and it's glued. Hopefully the silicone didn't get into the threads.
Okay, they should not be that tight. Of course this one was. Okay, it looks like the plumber's putty went all the way down the threads and then dried up. That's what we were fighting. And that's really, really gross. All right, so you want to try to clean out the old plumber's putty uh, or silicone or whatever else they used here to seal. Okay, and then try to remove the old rubber washer here. It doesn't have to be done unless your house is like 30 years old. So that's actually not rotten. But we do have a new one, so in it goes. There we go. Okay, yeah, that'll be the right size. That's important. <laughs> All right, so now we get to play with plumber's putty like we're kindergartners. Okay, so just take the plumber's putty, we're gonna make a big snake. Okay, that's really what we're doing here. Okay, and that's definitely too much, but it will just squeeze out anyways. All right, so we're just gonna put it there on the lip. It's really where it needs to be. You don't need to run it all the way up to threads. Alright, now you need to snug this up, but don't go crazy. Like you always hear me say, don't go roiding out on it. Cover your leftover putty. It's still good to use for next time. And then we're going to take our pretty cap and put it on up, down, and that's going to work so much better and look so much better. Well, there we go, wrapping up another quick, easy DIY video, okay? So I hope this helps you guys out with your project. Get that tub drain working better, looking better, not being stinky. You can't get it clean anymore because the, sur the finish is chipping off the surface. That was just gross, okay? Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell for notifications. Always new content coming out. Check out our website with hundreds of more videos and other resources organized really, really well. And there is another video for you guys to enjoy. You guys have a great one.